How's it going guys? It is Coach David from davidofthelion.com, otlfitness.com, and today I'm here to talk about the resistance band sprint. One of the most beautiful uh, ways to teach the sprint and uh, a very effective way as well. And I love to see people use the resistance band sprint in their practice, but unfortunately, I see people do it wrong a lot. So this one today is both for the coaches and for the athletes. I'm going to go over three flaws that I see uh, most often during the resistance band sprint. These are, one, pulling your partner, two, moving too slowly, and three, the hinge at the hip. All right? All these things, guys, if, if taken out of the resistance band sprint will add more efficiency to your movement, allowing you to get more out of the resistance band sprint than you do right now. All right? And coaches, it allow you to cue and see these flaws in order for your athletes to get the most out of this movement as well. Now, the first one that I'm going to talk about is pulling your partner. Now, unfortunately, I don't have someone helping me today, so I'm going to have to go in and out of this band over here that's connected to the, uh, to the pull-up bars. All right? But the first one, pulling, guys, uh, you see this a lot. Tell me if this looks familiar. I'm holding the band for a sprinter, and they take off, and you can already see the nervousness in their eyes. They're like, oh, my gosh, this guy outweighs me like, by like 100 pounds. He's going to drag me. That happens to me. I'm like, oh, no. All right, they start pulling, you're like, oh, 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 oh my God, oh my God. And uh, the person looks like they're going to bust on the asphalt or uh, fall down, and you want to avoid those types of things, especially since it's not necessary for this movement. The sprinter should never think that they're trying to drag the person behind them. All right, I know it happens a lot. I fell victim to this for the longest time, guys. So what do we want? We want the athlete to slow down that movement Sorry, I don't want to say slow down. We want them to correct that movement so that they're moving with more speed, all right? And this is going to go into flaw number two than they are with just this ugly movement, you know, arms across the body, okay? So do not drag, do not think that, that the, part, the point of this movement is to drag the person behind you. It's going to lead us into part two, guys, or flaw number two, speed, right? When you're trying to drag someone, it's a very slow movement. Your arms may be moving fast, but your legs are moving slow. That's not the point. We want to mimic the sport, mimic sprinting. Why would we mimic it with a slow movement when sprinting is, of course, a fast movement, okay? So here's what I see. Let me get into the band real quick. All right? I see slow movements and across the body movements all the time. Your arms should never go across the body. They stay on the side, arms at 90 degrees, sockets to pockets every time. I want to see fast movement, guys. Arms and legs, pop, 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 as fast as you can every single time. Get the most out of the movement. Doing anything else, guys, is going to be a waste of your time. So number flaw number two, moving too slowly. Move with speed. Mimic the sport. Now, excuse me, let me catch my breath. Number three is the hinge at the hip, all right? These pullers and these slow movers, they hinge, all right, and they run here. Now, I don't know if any of you guys watch the Olympics, but as Usain Bolt and Asafa Pal and uh, Johan Blake and all these great runners were passing the finish line, they may have leaned across the finish line, but they do not sprint halfway during the race like this. Yes, there is a part of sprinting, especially in the takeoff, called the drive phase where you do bend over, all right? And that can be trained with resistance bands, but that's not the point that most coaches are trying to make whenever they're teaching the resistance band sprint. They're already teaching when the athlete is open, they're up tall, and now they're running. You know, if it's a 100 meter sprint, they're already 50, 60 meters in, now they're opened up, and they're driving, 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 chest is up tall. So, coaches, when you see this hinge in the hip, all right, cue your athletes. Athletes, chest up tall when you sprint. Right, move the arms fast. So, the hinge. Sorry about this. Oh. The hinge in the hip, guys, is usually here where the band is. Remember that we want it up tall and drive with the chest up as tall as possible. Now, another way that you can cue this movement, we know that we can cue verbally, right? Sometimes verbally doesn't work, we go hands-on, or sometimes we have to kind of change what we're doing. You can uh, manipulate this movement or this exercise by adding something to the actual resistance. All right, so what I do, and I use this basically all the time with my personal training athletes or my personal training one-on-one -on -one clients, whoever they may be. Uh, I use a second band, all right, usually a blue band, and I wrap it around the green band, all right? From here, 
I have the athlete put the arms through the band. This does not obstruct my arm drive at all, all right? It also allows me to remember, remember to keep my chest up, all right? So from here, chest is up tall, and I'm spreading, maybe from a different view. See if you guys can see it from here a little better. Chest is up tall, I've got my knee drive going, all right? So, three flaws, coaches and athletes that I see a lot in the band sprint, trying to pull your partner, trying to drag them way too much, moving way too slow, and the hinge of the hip. Make sure as a coach that you see these things and that you cue them. Like I said, we want our athletes, and athletes, we want to get the most out of this movement as possible. Make it transfer over, right? Don't train something the wrong way, okay? So guys, those are the three things uh, to adjust during the resistance band sprint. This is Coach David DeLeon from davidoftheline.com, otlfitness.com. If you guys ever need anything, my information is on, is on both of those websites. Please feel free to contact me. And until next time, we'll talk to you soon.